I don't know about y'all, but we got some crazy news about Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 4 reportedly in the works somehow. And it's going to be canon to his original version of Spider-Man. And it's going to happen probably after Doctor Strange 2, you know. Maybe it's going to be finished filming. But I can only assume that they're going to probably get the original cast member from the Spider-Man series back. And I can tell you this, the first two Spider-Man films I liked, but I have problems with the characters such as Mary Jane. Kind of feel like she's just two dimensional, if you know what I mean. Sony Pictures reportedly interested in continuing Sam Raimi's canon Spider-Man 4. Well, this one is crazy, y'all. It can be argued that Marvel's biggest missed opportunity is not pulling the trigger on Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 4, which would have made the director the first one to helm four uh, consecutive Marvel films. In case you didn't know, plans for a fourth Spidey film were actually on the table over a decade ago. But the studio had second thoughts after 2007 Spider-Man 3 failed to meet expectations from fans and in fact, it's still widely regarded as one of the worst Marvel films in existence. And I've seen the film myself, and I hated it. Sam Raimi admitted that the third Spider-Man film was terrible. So I gotta respect him for that. Now Raimi is finally returning to the Marvel Universe after 13 years uh, the direct the upcoming Doctor Strange, the upcoming Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and the um and the renowned director's return opened, uh, opened the door for a lot of possibilities. And apparently, that also includes the completion of his Spider-Man trilogy. According to the new scoop from Giant Freaking Robot, Sony Pictures is interested in bringing back the Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire duo to do the canon fourth Spidey film. The reporter said that the idea is for Spider-Man 4 is become a follow-up to Doctor Strange 2. So it's safe to assume that it's going to be set in the Earth 616. The same studio was responsible for the 2012 Spider-Man reboot starring Andrew Garfield, which didn't exactly hit the mark. Of course, taking this one with a huge grain of salt, but assuming Toby is Toby in fact reprises his role as the web slinger in Spider-Man No Way Home where he's been heavily rumored to make an appearance along with Andrew it's safe to assume that the actor is set for one final horror as Spider-Man and, and quite frankly that will make a lot of fans myself included generally happy there's a possibility that this film might end up being made but my concern is that it's going to end up you know underperforming like the third one has been made but I'm willing to give this film the benefit of the doubt. I really do want to see Sam Raimi's get back on his feet in director's chair because the guy hasn't been heard of or seen in years since his last Spider-Man films. So at least he's returning which is a good thing. So what did you guys think of the article? Are you willing to give Sam Raimi's Spider-Man for a chance when we start seeing some behind the scenes photos. If so, let me know in the comments down below. And you know what to do, put it in the chat.